Hello, it's Kalitiz. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my very first embroidery and I decided to share with you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos like this one. So enjoy the tutorial and let's begin. For today's embroidery project, I'm going to be using a cotton shopping bag that I bought from Hobbycraft for just one pound. I'm also going to be using a embroidery hoop, embroidery needles, a small pair of scissors, a pencil, a rubber and a sharpener as well so we can trace down the design into the bag and you also need to print out the design that you want to basically do on the fabric or the bag that you're doing the embroidery on. You will also need embroidery threads. This one came in a pack that I bought on Amazon so I'm going to be linking down in the description below for you guys to check it out. And the first thing we are going to be doing is transferring the design into the place that you're going to be doing the embroidery. And I'm going to be using some pens so I can just pin down the paper with the bag so it's not going to be moving around. Place the paper with the printed design inside of the bag or underneath the place that you're going to be doing the embroidery. If it's a darker fabric, then you will need to transfer in another way. But if it's a lighter fabric, then you will be able to do as I'm showing you guys now. So make sure that the design is nice and centered in the bag. And then you're just going to be placing four pins on all of the sides so it's not going to be moving around. As I told you guys, if it's a lighter fabric, you will be able to see the design underneath and then you're just going to be tracing around all the little details that you have to basically embroider after. So what I'm going to be doing is just tracing all of the flowers and leaves that I have all around my design and then I'll be back to show you guys how to start your embroidery. Once you've done that, we are going to be choosing the colors that we want to start with. So here I'm choosing a brown, a green and two shades of yellow. And you're also going to be choosing which needle you want to be working with. I'm going to be starting with the medium ones, but then after I change to the small ones as well. With one of the shades of yellow, you're going to be cutting a piece of the thread. I'm doing quite long because I do want to have enough thread to go all the way around my flower. So for my thread, I'm going to be using all of the six strands and also I'm going to be using double on my needle as well. So I'm going to be combining both ends at the end of my, th of my thread and then I'm just going to be knotting both ends together. With the hoop, we are going to be unscrewing right at the top and then you're going to be removing the inside and you're going to be placing underneath where you're going to be doing your embroidery and then the one at the top which is the one with the screws we are going to be placing it back on the top with basically the other hoop that we just removed and place it underneath and then you're just going to be screwing back on nice and tight as tight as you can so you have a really nice and straight base if it's not straight enough then you're just going to be pulling the sides until you see that it's really really nice and straight I'm also going to be leaving the other shade of yellow ready when I finish with the other shade and then I can just use this one and it's going to be ready for me to use. So now you're going to be choosing one of the petals to work with. I'm going to be choosing this one. Pull the needle through the base of the petal, so not right in the middle but a little bit to the side. And then you're just going to be bringing all the way through. Holding the thread to the side, you're going to be inserting the needle again right beside where you just did the previous one and then you're going to be coming out with the needle through the very top of the petal and making sure that the thread is underneath the needle when you're going to be pulling all the way through. To secure that in place, you're going to be inserting your needle through the very top of the petal, not in the same place you did the previous one, but a little bit up, like a couple of millimeters just up where you did the other one. And then you're just going to insert it all the way through and then you're basically going to go back and repeat all this process again. So insert your needle in the base, not in the center, a little bit to the side, go all the way through and then hold the thread to one side and then right beside it you're going to be inserting and then you're going to come out right on the edge of the petal, making sure that the thread is underneath the needle and then you're just going to pull all the way through again and then you're going to be inserting right at the top just as you did before. So now you're just going to be repeating the same into all of the front petals and then I'll come back to show you guys the other ones that I'm going to do. Once you finish the first layer, we are going to be now fastening off. So to fasten off is very simple. You're just gonna choose any of the stitches at the back of your embroidery. And then you're gonna go through that stitch, 
twice and then the last one you're gonna be leaving a little loop and then you're just gonna go through the loop and then you're just gonna be pulling it tight and then cutting the yarn so that's how I'm basically gonna fasten off all of the threads at the back of my embroidery using the next shade of yellow we are going to be doing the petals in between the current petals and you're going to be following the same steps as I showed you guys in the previous petals as well so it's basically just doing exactly what I showed you guys in the previous one And now for the middle of the flower, I'm going to be using this brown shade right here. I'm using all of the six strands. Also, I'm going to be doing this part with only one thread and not double as I did before. Starting right in the middle, you're going to be inserting the needle and you're going to go all the way through with the thread. And to create the French knot, you're going to wrap the thread four times around the needle. And then once you've done that, you're going to insert it back not into the same stitch but a little bit to the side and then you're just gonna go all the way through and then you come back with a needle and then you're gonna repeat again you wrap four times around the needle and then you're gonna be returning to the fabric not in the same place a little bit to the side and then you're just going to be repeating the same until you have all of the middle of the flower covered Also remember that every time you're changing the color, you have to fasten off. I'm not gonna show you guys every time I do it, but remember that every time you change the color, fasten off and then change the color. We are going to now do the leaves around the sunflowers. So I'm changing here to a green shade. For the leaves, we are gonna be starting right at the top of the leaf. So you're gonna be inserting your needle right at the top, pull all the way through, and then we are going to be returning all the way down in the middle, very close to the sunflower. If you want, you can do some guidelines. So I'm doing one, I'm going to be doing this one as a guideline, but the other side I'm not. So you can see both ways how to do it. So what you're going to do is just make stitches going a little bit down, not halfway through, but a little bit kind of in the middle. And then create another one. So I'm doing two, so the middle and then plus the other two. As a guideline and then once you've done that you can just go ahead and cover basically in between the guidelines so you're basically just gonna go through with the needle bring it all the way through and then go back into the same stitch that you've started of course that you're gonna be following the sunflower so when you move down the leaf then you're gonna have to kind of follow the sunflower and the petals all the way around when you get towards the end you're just going to be following the design the line of the leaf and then you're just going to be repeating the same stitch until you have covered all this side of the leaf once you have finished one side of the leaf we are going to be now moving to the other side so you want to come out with your needle right where you've started not at the top of the leaf but at the end of the leaf where we started doing the stitches. I think that this method is a little bit easier than doing the guidelines because you basically start in a point so you're going to be moving to the top and then you're going to be moving all the way to where you've started so it's kind of like going back and forth but you have a point to start and a point to finish so just go back and forth and do all the same all the way down and then basically covering all the gaps that you have in between the leaf and the flower so now I'm just going to be creating the embroidery for all of the sunflowers and the leaves, these ones that I showed you guys that I have all around my design and then I'll be back to show you guys the rest. As you can see this is how it looks like once you have all the sunflowers and the bigger leaves already completed and just below my design I've added a phrase so flowers are happiness just so I could practice a little bit writing in embroidery as well and I have followed the same steps as I showed you guys at the beginning and the next ones that I'm going to be showing you guys how to embroider will be these ones right here Choosing a different shade of green, we are going to be doing now the stem of the flower. Starting right at the beginning of the stem, we are going to be inserting your needle and go all the way through. You're going to go just a couple of millimeters up and then you're going to insert it back and then pull all the way down. 
When you're bringing your needle forward again, you're going to be bringing in between the previous stitch that you've created. So that's called a split stitch. So you're going to be inserting right in the middle, bringing all the way forward again, and then a couple of millimeters up, you're gonna insert it back pull all the way down and then you're gonna bring it back again through the middle of the previous stitch. So this is basically what you're gonna be doing throughout the entire stem of the flower. For the flower, I'm going to be using this pink thread right here. Before I was using all of the six strands now I'm going to be separating in half, so it's going to be three for each side. So what you're going to be doing is just like kind of like spreading around a little bit the top and then picking the three that you can find first and then you're just going to open it up a little bit and then with your index finger but holding still right at the top, you're just going to be sliding your finger down in, in between the six strands of the, of the thread and then you're just going to slide it down and pulling the top until you have separated them completely and I'm also going to be doing the same to a yellow shade as well because I'm going to be using the yellow one for the middle of the flower but I think you guys already noticed that I'm adding here in the video already when I'm using six strands and when I'm using three strands so that kind of like help you guys as well to create the flower you're gonna go right at the top of the circle that you've created so now you're gonna go through the stitch that we finished the green the stem of the flower and then you're gonna go through that stitch and you're gonna come out from the top where you did the very first stitch with the pink and then you're going to be pushing the needle but not all the way through and with your working thread, you're going to be basically wrapping around the top of the needle five times. And then with your thumb and your index finger, you're going to be holding the needle and basically the threads that you just wrapped around the needle. And then you're going to be pulling. It's going to be a little bit tight, but you can just like spread it around and then pull very carefully so they don't basically unravel. And then you're going to be moving it down. And then also with your thumb, you can just make sure that it's nice and tight. So now you're just gonna secure that in place by going through the stitch where the green finished. And then you're gonna take it back. And then we are going to be bringing back again from the top, very close to where we did the very first one. And just repeating the same steps as before, you're going to be creating the same on this side as well. So from the bottom to the top with the needle, and then you're gonna wrap around five times around the needle and then you're just going to be pulling the needle through the loops that we've created around the needle and then just making sure that it's nice and tight move down and then go through the bottom again to secure in place and then you can fasten off with the yellow thread we are gonna go through the middle of the flower and we are going to be creating a french knot using only two loops around the needle so basically you're gonna wrap around the needle twice you're gonna go back through the same place not the same stitch because otherwise it's gonna go all the way through just gonna make sure that it's kind of like beside the previous little stitch that you've created go all the way through and you can fasten off for the next design i'm going to be doing lavenders and i'm going to be using a light green and a purple so you're going to be pushing the needle through the very beginning of the lavender and then a couple of millimeters up you're just going to push down the needle taking all the way through and then a couple of millimeters up you're just going to push through the needle again and then you're going to go back into the previous stitch and then you're going to push it down and all the way through. And then you're just going to be repeating the same until you've covered the middle of the lavender. So for the flowers of the lavender, we are going to be starting at the top of your stitch. And then you're gonna go back down closer to the stem of the flower we're not all the way through just with the needle and then you're gonna bring it up again through the very first stitch that you've created and then you're just going to be pushing the needle through but not all the way through you just want to leave a little bit on the top now you're going to be wrapping the thread eight times around your needle and then you're just going to be pulling the needle through all of the wraps that you've created making sure that it's nice and tight 
and then you're just going to be moving the thread down towards the way that the stitch is going and then just making sure that it's nice and tight and then you're just gonna go back down that stitch just to secure everything in place. You don't need to fasten off every time you finish a flower. What you're going to be doing is just going to the next one right at the top and then creating the entire stitch on that particular flower. And then you're just going to be creating the same into all of the other flowers. Changing to a green shade, you're going to be inserting the needle where you want to start the design. Go back into the same stitch and a few millimeters up, go through and create a loop. Go through the loop and then you're going to be pulling tight but not too tight, moving it upwards. Go through the middle of the stitch, moving a few millimeters up to create the next stitch. And this time you can leave the thread to the left, holding with your thumb at the back of the needle. Pull tight and then you're going to be repeating this all the way up in the line. And when you get at the end, right at the top, you're going to be doing exactly the same what we did to the sunflower petals. For the leaves, bring the needle forward close to the stem, move up following the leaf line, and then take the needle to the back again, bringing it back through the very first stitch. And you're going to be creating two stitch lines on both sides. So going through the top, moving it down, and then lastly going through the top and taking it back again. And when you bring it back to the front, you're going to be basically going through the next leaf. And now you can just repeat the same method into all of the other leaves. And you can also use this method that I'm showing you guys here. And it's a little bit easier and you make all of the stitches in one go. For my next flower design, I'm going to run a back stitch through the main lines in the design using what I showed you guys already, but now I'm going to go through the end of the previous stitch, scooping a little bit forward for my next stitch and then repeating all the way up. Basically it's just an easier way that you're not going to go all the way through and then you have to bring the needle back, you're just kind of like scooping and bringing the needle already forward and continuing the stitch. And when I get to the side lines, I'm just going to be repeating the same, but just with a longer stitch. And you have to make sure that you find an easier way to go back and forth, but in a way that you're still going to be able to come back in the middle after to continue with the straight line right in the middle. And I've also decided to do some leaves here for this design, and I'm just going to be repeating the same as I did into the previous design. But for this one, I did four leaves. And I'm also going to be adding some extra lines on the sides. Some of them I'm going to be doing five lines and some of them I'm going to be doing three. And then when you finish, you go back and then you fasten off. So now changing the color, I've decided to use this nude one right here. And right where I've done the lines at the top, I'm going to be creating two French knots. And for this design, I'm going to be creating back stitches going through the middle and going all the way up. And for the flowers going around the stem, we are going to be doing detached chain stitches. So right at the top, you're going to be inserting your needle and then you're going to go all the way through, bringing it forward. And then you're going to go back through that same stitch. You're going to be scooping the fabric, sliding a few millimeters up and placing the thread at the back of the needle so it's easier to pull. And then you're going to be pulling all the way through. So now you're going to be creating the little line to connect the flower to the stem. You're going to go through very close to the stem 
and then you're going to be scooping a little bit of the fabric and then you're going to be sliding it up again so we can do the next flower and then you're basically going to be repeating the same as you created before and also as many times as you want all the way around the stem i'm going to be doing here seven flowers but you can do more or less if you want I am now going to be using these three designs and I'm going to be basically closing all the circle around with leaves and flowers and what I'm going to be doing is just mixing and matching them until I cover all of the marked lines that I did and then I will show you guys a time lapse of me doing them and then you can just see more or less the idea and the things that I did to basically cover the spaces that I had around my circle. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to embroider the writing here on the bottom and this is how it looks like once it's completed and I'm going to be using both back and chain stitches for this part. So starting here in the F, I'm going to be starting with a few back stitches and then I'm going to be changing to chain stitches after so it's a little bit thicker right at the beginning of the F and this is the only part that I'm going to be doing chain stitches. I did more for the happiness because it had like P's and also the H at the beginning. I'm just going to be doing for the F and then the rest I'm just going to be doing back stitches. And the only thing that I can suggest you guys and that you have to do is to make sure that when you're doing the curves, you do very small stitches so you can actually follow and have a really nice and round curve. And what you're going to be doing is just following what I'm doing here in the video and then continue all the way down writing and then I'll show you guys how everything looks like.
So cute cuties, this is how the bag turned out and this is how my very first embroidery looks like. I'm very happy on how it turned out. And if you guys end up making this project, make sure that you share with me on all of my social media. I'm gonna be linking them down in the description below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you soon on my next one. Bye bye! Thank you.